Okay everyone and welcome to the next tutorial, video tutorial on Photop. On the last one I was showed you how to remove the background using the magic wand tool which was a very simple way of getting rid of the background. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get rid of the background of a more complex image so that we can bring the edges of that particular image to life and uh, bring that within the picture. Okay so we're going to be using something called the refine edge tool today uh, and uh, this is what we'll be focusing on. Okay, okay, so I'm going to start a new file, as you can see, uh, and we're just going to change my background color very quickly. Remember, the background is usually locked, so you need to unlock it here on the right hand side. Uh, I'm going to select um, a color that I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for a darkish sort of brown. I'm going to press OK. Make sure you've selected the paint bucket tool, which is the shortcut is G, and then you click on the canvas, and it should turn into that color. Now, once you've got that, I'm going to look for the image. Um, which I'm going to place on this canvas. Uh, it's going to go on Pexels, again, free images as long as you acknowledge um, who took that image and where that image sort of came from. Okay, I'm going to go for a sun flare. Okay, so that I can show you how I can get the detail of the flares around the sun. Okay, on this particular image. Okay, okay, so I'm going to just go ahead. Uh, obviously, you can save the image, drag it in. There's different ways of doing it. I'm, in this particular instance, I'm just going to copy this image. Uh, and I'm going to put it into my. Um, into my photo P document as you can see okay okay um, I'm just going to select it uh, I'm just going to make it slightly bigger so that we can uh, we're clear with it remember shift keep shift down and then drag out the handles from the bottom corner so that the proportions remain in place okay I'm going to put it inside the center of the page okay so the plan is to get rid of this black background but to try to get as many of as much of the edge and the detail as possible okay okay so I've selected my layer, I've selected the image, I'm going to press on W, so when I click on W, it takes me through the different types of tools, I've got quick selection, I've got magic wand, uh, and I've got object selection, so I'm going to go on quick selection, and I'm going to click on the sun, now what you should do, it should sort of automatically try to predict what image I want, okay, and that is a lot of the edge and a lot of the image that I want, but obviously there's a few things missing, so I'm going to show you how to get on. Okay, okay, so now I've selected it, go on Refine Edge. Now when you go into Refine Edge, here on the left hand side is the image that you'll be editing, and on the right hand side will be the actual end result. Okay, okay, usually it comes up as a transparent background. I'm going to click on black so that I can see what's being added to that particular image, so it's clearer for me to see. Now when you add it back onto the actual canvas and as a new layer, it will, it will have a transparent background, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of my brush to 40. Okay, now how how um, how Photopy works, it works with three colors. So you've got your white and gray and your black. Your black uh, will get rid of parts of the image that you want to get rid of. So for example, if I, just to show you an example, if I click on that, as you can see, I'm, 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 I'm starting to lose my image. White, automatic, white, what white will do, white will, will, will bring out the image. Okay, so it will bring the detail of the image. So if I, if I go on the white one and click on that, as you can see, that image is now coming back to life. Now, the important color that I need to use is gray. Now, what the gray does is I need to go around the edge using the gray and find out where all the yellow is. Okay, okay so that the flare around this sun is sort of coming to life. So as you can see here, now the more accurate you do it, the better the image and the end sort of result. Okay, okay, so I'm going around. As you can see, it's now starting to bring out some of the flares and some of the detail of this particular image, as you can see. Okay, so I'll just go around and add as much as you can in terms of uh, in terms of the edges and the detail okay okay so now that seems pretty good to me okay and it looks like a lot of the image has been added as you can see okay okay so i'm going to click on new layer and i'm going to press ok and i have the image now on my canvas which i can sort of move around and as you can see the background's gone and it's brought up so much, uh, so many of the different flares and the details. So, refine edge option is uh, one of the best options okay, to use, especially if you're working with complex images. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.
make sure you subscribe and stay tuned in for more tutorials on how to use Photopea. Thank you.